Hi guys, welcome to the Thinking Crypto channel. I hope you're doing well. On this channel, we cover the crypto news and we interview many of the folks who are building and investing in the asset class. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button. Guys, some very big and interesting news. Visa is looking for blockchain engineers who have worked with Ethereum and Bitcoin. Let me give you the details. This comes from a recent job posting. They're looking to hire multiple folks and I'm gonna give you some of the, the details. The Fortune 500 company that accounts for 53% of all credit card transactions has several open positions in Austin, Texas and Foster City, California. The job description states that Visa is specifically hiring someone with strong expertise in Ethereum and its blockchain architecture. Here's the job description. As you can see, it says blockchain engineer, product development and management. Uh, it is a full-time position and they continue to say here, this group is responsible for defining and building the non-card based payment innovation and product for Visa Incorporated globally. The five priority verticals the team is focusing on are one blockchain based cross-border payment platform, near time settlement, enterprise ID stamping to create digital identity for corporates. Hyperledger chain code development in Golang, analytics and data visualization. And in the uh, description, they also mention we're seeking a strong developer experience with Ethereum and blockchain architecture to be a part of a team, or I should say team task with building distributed application. Our ideal candidate has built and released distributed applications, and listen to this guys, has worked with Ripple, R3, Ethereum, and or Bitcoin blockchain, and has experience with Solidity. Multiple positions, of course, open here, guys. Very interesting. And let me give you some additional details, and we'll come back to this. Two years ago, Visa acquired a Ripple partner by the name of Earthport. Very huge, right? Very big ac acquisition for them. Um, they also filed a patent earlier this year, in May 14, 2020, for a digital fiat currency. And as you can see here, Visa International Service Association, and this is with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, guys, looking to build a uh, digital currency. And they, they pretty much claim here, for example, the method of claim one, further comp comprising, associating the digital currency with a digital wallet using a private key stored to the digital wallet. This is what they have in their patent that they file, guys. A computer implemented method comprising receiving by a central entity computer a request for digital currency, the requesting comprising uh, a serial number and denomination of a physical currency, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So Visa is trying to throw their hat in the ring here, guys to build a digital currency. And why is this big news for crypto? Because once again, it validates the crypto market. It validates the technology, the disruptive technology, which is Bitcoin that started it all back in 2008. And from there, we have the crypto market right now. You have different digital assets. You have Ethereum, smart contracts. You have XRP being used by Ripple as a digital assets for cross-border payments and micropayments. And then you have others, right? So notice they called out Ripple. They called out Ethereum and Bitcoin. They also mentioned R3, which is, of course, partnered with Ripple. They have XRP. So Visa is trying to compete here because if they don't, they will get disrupted and become the next blockbuster. I think we all know that story, right, guys? Innovate or die. But I want to highlight this because it's so important for people who still don't understand what's happening. This disruptive technology of blockchain is going to uh, revolutionize the world, guys. It's the next layer on top of the internet. It's obviously starting with finance, right? With Bitcoin and, and uh, XRP and Ethereum and so forth. But it's going to disrupt other industries, healthcare, voting, whatever it may be. Uh, because you're going to have more trust and transparency now. Everything will be on the blockchain. So guys, Visa recognizes this. This is why they are hiring people to, to get the ball rolling here. And you have to have experience, once again, with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and of course, Ripple. And they, we know they use XRP. So guys, the future of this market is so bright. I hope you can continue to see these facts and they resonate with you that these companies are not wasting their time and money and resources to build these things out uh, for fun. 
They're trying to avoid disruption and there's money to be made here. New market being birthed here, new technology. It's kind of like the internet in the 90s. You better get on board, build your website, or you're going to become irrelevant, right? So another bank that tried to do that, well, I shouldn't say Visa is not a bank, obviously, but remember JP Morgan? Remember JPM coin? They created their own digital coin. And while Jamie Dimon in 2017 was bashing Bitcoin, calling it a fraud, but all of these guys know what's coming. Now, we'll have to wait and see what Visa's coin looks like. JPM's coin haven't, hasn't done anything. Um, it's like the, what the folks at Ripple have said. It's a wall garden because why would any other bank want to trust or use JPM coin? Why would JP Morgan want to use Visa coin, right? You still have these wall gardens. However, it validates the crypto market. It shows the technology is here to stay and that uh, there could be interoperability between all these coins, right? We'll have to wait and see how it plays out. Now, some additional news from Visa. Very interesting timing. And this is from Visa's head of crypto. CBDC is the most important trend in payments, says Visa crypto chief. Visa's head of crypto says CBDC is the most important payments trend in the next de uh, decade. So his name is, if I'm saying it right, Koi Sheffield, and uh, he's the head of Visa's crypto <laughs> department, right? Think about that, guys. A credit card company now has a crypto department. Every bank, every credit card company will have this because the disruption is happening right before their eyes. Now, uh, what's interesting, if Visa's building a digital currency, what they could be doing, and this is in line with these statements, is positioning their digital currency to say, hey, this country, hey, this central bank, come use our coin. That's certainly a, po a possibility. We'll have to wait and see. Um, and here's what he tweeted. I'd, I'd argue that central bank digital currency, CBDC, is one of the most important trends for the future of money and payments over the next decade. Regardless of anyone's personal views or whether it's good or bad, the reality is that global interest in it is not going away. He's absolutely right. It doesn't matter what your emotions are, what your feelings are. What matters is what's taking place, the adoption, the investments, and so forth. Um, he continues saying, as governments evaluate CBDC, the path that they decide to take will have major implications for privacy, monetary sovereignty, geopolitics, and financial inclusion, as well as global adoption of crypto dollars and Bitcoin. This is coming from a guy that works at Visa. Yeah, Bitcoin's here to stay. Whether you like it or not, whether you, however you feel, it doesn't matter. The big money is getting in and putting their, a lot of resources behind Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin's not going to be the only winner. I believe Ethereum is going to be a winner, XRP, and so forth. Therefore, if you are interested in any of the above, it's worth closely following the active debate around if CBDC should be created and how specifically they should be designed and implemented. Uh, what used to be an occasional paper from an analyst at a central bank every few months has evolved into a steady stream of content from many different experts, academics, and organizations, making it harder to keep up with the latest considerations. He's absolutely right. Um, and then he provides, guys, look what he who provides uh, stuff to, the IMF, <laughs> a survey of research on central bank digital currency. So... Uh, digital dollar project, which we know Ch Chris Giancarlo is, is working on, the US CBDC, and uh, a lot of different other resources. So guys, everybody sees the writing on the wall here, even Facebook trying to create Libra, right? JP Morgan created JPM coin, Visa with their patents and look who they're trying to hire. They see the writing on the wall trying to create their own digital currency here. So everyone's going to try to do it. But um, you know, it goes back to what why Bitcoin was created. And once again, take your feelings and emotions out of it. The fact of being that hedge, that global currency, more of a store of value, digital goal, and um, people are flocking to it, whether you like it or not, right? So this, this is why I hold Bitcoin in my portfolio. And uh, obviously, I diversify, but I believe Bitcoin is going to do so well. So guys, big things happening here. Don't miss it. It's not making the major headlines on CNBC, Fox, and wherever. These things are happening, and the masses are going by their day-to-day. -day. But those who are getting it now, obviously not financial investment advice, those who are getting in now and uh, buying the dips, buying the low, and being patient and hodling are going to be rewarded come the uh, 
obviously in the next cycle and, and cycles after that, bull cycles after that, right? And that's why you see all these major institutional players getting in like Paul Tudor Jones and uh, Chamat Palpatia and uh, Fidelity and Back. They're all getting in and, and uh, getting their share of the pie here and waiting for the next cycle. So guys, what do you think about this news? What do you think about Visa's uh, plan here and what they're trying to do in building their own digital currency? It looks like they're ramping up efforts and I hope you uh, see this news as a another factor or way to, to hold on and to see what's coming, right? Because sometimes I know many of you get discouraged or maybe you're new to the market and you're like, oh, the price is not going up. But you have to understand these things take time. You have to understand market cycles. And when you see big players like this doing what they're doing, uh, it's it's a clear indication that we are on the right side of history. We're with the smart money at this point getting in early. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Thumbs up this video. Share it if you found it helpful. And I'll talk to you all later.